but it all has consequences. And, and I think we're, we're about, well, we are starting to see the consequences of. There's a buzz in the air, and it's not a good one. Warren Buffett, a seasoned financial guru, is sounding the alarm bells. He's not just talking about another economic recession. He's warning of a storm that could make the 1929 Wall Street crash or the 2008 Great Recession look like a walk in the park. The United States has racked up a colossal debt of $1.4 trillion in the first nine months of fiscal year 2023. Wrap your head around that number. $1.4 trillion. And to make matters more concerning, a whopping $228 billion was borrowed in June alone. These are not just figures. They're potential red flags for our economy. Let's hear what he has to say about this looming economic crisis. Uh, this question comes from Tom Seymour. He says the first sentence of a recent Financial Times article read, Charlie Munger has warned of a brewing storm in the U.S. commercial property market with American banks full of what he said were bad loans as property prices fall. Please elaborate on what's going on in commercial real estate. How bad will the losses be and what sectors or geographies look particularly bad? I'll just add an addendum from another viewer who wrote in and wanted to know if Berkshire would be more active in commercial real estate as a result. Well, Berkshire's never been very important, very active in commercial real estate. It it works better for taxable investors than it does for corporations taxed the way Berkshire is. So, I I don't anticipate huge effects on Berkshire, but I do think that the hollowing out of the downtowns in the United States and elsewhere in the world is going to be quite significant and quite unpleasant. I think the country will get through it all right, but uh, as they say, it will, awfully, it will often involve a different set of owners. Yeah, and the buildings, the buildings don't go away, but and the owners do. Let's break down the situation we're in right now. Picture this. Housing prices aren't going up because the houses are getting fancier or better. Nope. It's happening because of some other reasons, like people making guesses and borrowing a ton of money over the last 15 years. Experts call this a real estate bubble, and it's unfolding in the U.S. Here's the deal. Interest rates are crazy low, making it super cheap for folks and businesses to borrow money. This has triggered a buying spree, making house prices skyrocket, even if the houses aren't actually worth that much. Now, let's put this into perspective with a real-life example. Imagine a young couple on the hunt for a house. They find one listed at $300,000. Thanks to the low interest rates, getting a mortgage is a breeze. Small down payments, manageable monthly payments. This is how low rates make it possible for more people to become homeowners. And when more people want houses, the prices shoot up. Extend this scenario nationwide, and you can see how a bubble forms. Lots of people buying houses, prices climbing higher and higher. But here's the risky part. If interest rates start going up, the couple with the mortgage might find themselves paying more each month. If their income doesn't rise accordingly, meeting those higher payments becomes a challenge. If they can't keep up, the house goes back to the bank. That's the real danger of a real estate bubble. Now, let's shift our focus to the commercial real estate scene, where a similar storyline unfolds. Consider a business owner buying a property for their business during a period of low interest rates. Sounds good, right? But here's the catch. If those interest rates decide to climb, the loan repayments also go up. Throw in economic challenges, like a downturn or reduced demand for physical store space, and things get dicey the business owner might struggle to keep up with the payments. As more folks, both individuals and businesses, find it tough to pay off their mortgages or loans, the market could witness a surge in foreclosures. This flood of properties hits the market, and prices take a nosedive. Suddenly, these properties are worth less than what people initially paid for them, resulting in lost equity and financial distress. It's a tough situation when the commercial real estate market takes a hit. 
Understanding non-recourse debt is crucial, especially in significant real estate transactions like buying office buildings or malls. Simply put, it allows you to borrow money for a property, and if things go south, you can hand the property back to the bank without owing more money. A bit like returning a car in a special deal if you can't pay for it. While this deal may sound appealing for the borrower, it poses risks for the banks. Warren Buffett has highlighted how common this practice is in real estate. Many people borrow heavily when interest rates are low, assuming they won't have to pay much. However, if rates go up or the property loses value, they can simply return the keys to the bank. In such cases, the bank's options are limited to foreclosing on the property, and they are prohibited by law from taking action to recover remaining payments. Buffett emphasizes that when a lot of people engage in this behavior, it disrupts the entire market. If everyone starts returning properties to the banks, there's an oversupply, causing prices to plummet. Much like if everyone in town tried to sell their cars simultaneously. While non-recourse loans may seem less risky for buyers, they can have detrimental long-term effects on the economy, potentially leading to an economic crisis. Buffett's advice, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful, perfectly encapsulates the ripple effect on businesses, especially in the real estate market. This wisdom holds true for small regional banks that, driven by the allure of easy money, become overly generous with lending during prosperous times. However, as Buffett suggests, good times are fleeting, and this excessive lending can have serious consequences. When the real estate market when the takes real estate a hit, market smaller takes banks a hit, often smaller find banks themselves often in find themselves spot. in a tough These spot. These banks concentrate These banks heavily concentrate in one area. Heavily in so one area. Value so when property values or decline, borrower struggle or borrowers to struggle loans, to repay the loans, take the banks take a significant, take a significant, blow. significant imagine blow. Imagine a small town imagine bank, a small that, town has bank that has extended to loans to numerous on businesses on Main if Street. Street. If property values decrease or businesses face financial challenges, these loans become risky for the bank. If too many loans go Bank bad, might the bank default. might face and default. This isn't and this just a hypothetical isn't just scenario. a hypothetical scenario. This isn't a new this story. This isn't a new We've story. Seen it We've seen it play downturns. out in previous Such downturns. Such as the saving Such and loan, crisis, saving in and loan crisis in the 1980s. Aside from the 2008, Aside from the 2008 crisis, smaller banks encountered smaller major banks problems, encountered due, major to problems due to loans. bad real estate it's loans. It's a recurring pattern, it's a recurring during, pattern during, during tough times. economic the times. Impact is the impact is direct on small and medium-sized businesses. When their local bank is in trouble, Bank securing is in trouble, loans becomes securing much loans more challenging. becomes much more challenging. These businesses might, These businesses need, funds might need funds needs, for essential like needs, equipment, like new hiring equipment, staff, hiring or staff, even just or keeping, even the, lights just keeping the lights on. But if the, on. Bank, is the bank is tightening its financial belt, belt could these find businesses could find themselves in a tight spot. spot. We're currently witnessing, We're currently a, live witnessing a live demonstration of the ripple effect in action. In certain regions, the approval rates for small business loans have taken a noticeable decline. Recent declines. Lines of 10 to 15 percent to one translate to one of every two businesses seeking loans seeking being loans denied. Being denied. When local businesses when face, local hurdles, businesses in face hurdles, hurdles in securing funds, securing their, growth funds stunted. their growth is stunted. This, in turn, this leads, in turn to leads to a reduction in jobs, in jobs and, less and less spending. It's akin to a chain it's akin reaction. To a chain the bank reaction. faces challenges. Bank faces businesses challenges. encounter businesses difficulties, encounter in, encounter difficulties funds, in obtaining job funds. Opportunities job decrease, opportunities and decrease. And everyone feels the economic squeeze. The stock market the stock market isn't showing, market much, optimism isn't showing much optimism Major either. players like Major Tesla players have, like experienced, Tesla have experienced a significant, a significant drop, down by 13.2% in just a month. And they're not alone and in this downturn. Alphabet, in this Alphabet downturn. has seen a 5% decrease, and, and, and NVIDIA is down by 2.8%. These aren't just minor dips. These aren't just minor dips. They're, just minor they're warning signs they're of warning potential, signs larger, of potential issues larger issues the ahead. Recent the recent turbulence is largely attributed to the sudden hike in interest even rates, slight even slight in increases have in rates caused have historically caused economic disruptions, and the current, and the current situation appears more profound. Appears more profound. Fannie Mae is Fannie already May foreseeing, is already an, foreseeing economic downturn downturn an economic downturn in the first half of 2024. The entity responsible, the entity for, these responsible for these rate the changes is the Federal Reserve. Since March 2022, they've been steadily increasing rates, moving from a modest 0.25% to a substantial 5.5% 5.5% 5.5% 5.5% 5.5% 5.5% 5.5% 5.5% 5.5% 5.5% 5.5% 5.5% 5.5% 5.5% 5.5% 5.5% 
5.5% through, through a series of increments. Presently, there's a, Presently, sense, of there's a sense of uncertainty about their future, about their future creating moves, creating a guessing game, creating a guessing that's, game everyone that's making the everyone in the stock market quite jittery. Market quite the jittery. unfolding events the unfolding are keeping investors, are keeping on, investors edge on edge as they, as they navigate the unpredictable, the unpredictable landscape. Warren Buffett's analogy, Warren Buffett's comparing, analogy interest comparing interest rates to gravity, interest rates for, stock to gravity prices, for stock prices holds as weight. He put it, as he put it, interest, interest rates are to stock prices, are to stock what gravity is what gravity to an is apple. to an similar apple. Similar to how gravity, similar pulls, to how an gravity down. pulls an apple down, higher interest, higher interest, interest rates can exert a downward pull on stock the prices. Reasoning the reasoning behind this is straightforward. Interest Elevated interest rates make borrowing, more expensive. borrowing more expensive. This increase in borrowing, increase costs, in borrowing tends costs tends to slow down spending, to slow down and, spending and investment, which are essential drivers of growth for many large companies. Forward to Looking forward to 2024, the stock market is, stock market is likely to continue experiencing this pressure. Companies pressure. that heavily companies depend, that on, heavily borrowing depend on borrowing challenges may face challenges as the cost of borrowing as rises. The anticipated scenario, the anticipated scenario suggests a period where businesses relying on substantial borrowing may find the economic less landscape accommodating, less potentially accommodating, impacting potentially their impacting their growth prospects in the stock market. In these uncertain times, in these uncertain it's times, crucial times, to remember, it's crucial the, golden to remember the golden rule of investing. Reliably you can't predict reliably market predict market downturns. It's akin to trying, to, akin forecast to, trying to forecast the arrival of the next big wave hitting the shore. You might get lucky occasionally, but it's not a dependable strategy. The key is to stick, the key to, your is to, stick to your financial plan. If the stock market, if the is, stock making market easy, is making you uneasy, consider redirecting some of your portfolio into longer dated bonds. They can serve as a they safer, serve harbor, as a safer during harbor during choppy market, choppy market conditions. When it comes to real estate, Caution, is the, Caution is, the if you're is the name of the game. If you're contemplating a property ensure purchase, it's for the right ensure reasons. it's for the right not reasons. Because not just because are prices are bubble. soaring what in a bubble. Up what goes up can come crashing down. Come crashing for those down. already invested, for those already stay, invested vigilant market stay vigilant to market trends and be trends ready to adjust, your, ready strategy to adjust your strategy accordingly. Remember, even Remember, Warren Buffett, even continues, Warren to Buffett continues to make purchases during downturns. He views them as opportunities, not just threats. Recessions are part of the economic but avoiding cycle, investment but avoiding altogether investment due altogether to fear, due to missing fear out may mean missing out on the good times as well. Take a cue from Buffett's Take a cue from Buffett's and see challenging times and see challenging as opportunities, times as to, grow opportunities to grow your portfolio. As for predictions, as for, the for, predictions year, for the next the year, is the uncertain. future is uncertain. Do you anticipate a crisis, you anticipate on, the a crisis on the horizon? Share your thoughts with us Share in the comments below.